What is up, my Pokey Peeps? Pepper here. I am back with another one of Pet's Pokey videos. Here with Eli. What's happening? We are at Comic Con right now, and we are waiting for the. We both are waiting for the Pokemon panel. Very yes, excited. Um, yes, hopefully, sir. they give us some new stuff on Gen 8, uh, new Pokemon, new evolutions, but I will have a video for you after the panel. Peace. All right, so me and my boy Eli. Eli, say hi. What's happening? We just got done at the Veronica Taylor uh, panel. I messed up. I thought it was a Pokemon uh, 20th anniversary, but it was Veronica. He didn't believe me. I, I told him what it was. <laughs> I know, um, but it was a and a so it was really cool seeing the original voice actor, actress, I'm sorry, of Ash Ketchum. So I have a question. I asked her a question. Got it recorded. It's going to be up. I'm going to put a video up probably on Saturday, which is when this will come out. But thank you all for watching, and I will stay tuned. I will see you next time. What is up my Pokey peeps? Pepper here. Welcome back to another one of Pep's Pokey Reveals. I know the clip in the beginning of the video said this is going to be out on Saturday. Um, this is actually going to be Monday's video. I was at New York Comic Con this weekend and I just didn't have the right Wi-Fi or connection. Um, so I couldn't upload the video and I'm sorry about that. But... I hope you guys enjoyed the beginning of it because I went to the 20th anniversary Pokemon panel at the uh, New York Comic Con and the guest speaker obviously was Veronica Taylor who for those who don't know was the original voice actor of Ash in the Pokemon show the original I think I think she I think she mentioned she was up for she was it for 8 seasons and then they replaced her but I went, she had a QA and a and I was, honestly, I was sitting in my chair and I was kind of like going back and forth with my friend Eli, who was also in the video. Um, and I was like, do I go up there and ask a question? Do I not? Do I? Do I not? And I was like, you know what? I'm going to go up there and ask. And it was a lot of fun. It was really cool because I never thought that I would actually see her in person. So it was very cool. Um... It was, again, like, it was my first big Comic-Con, and I had a lot of fun with it. So, 
with the beginning clips, I'm going to throw in a little extra. I was at Midtown Comics. That is in, I, they have three locations. I know the one in Manhattan. I'm not 100% sure about the other ones. I will put all of their information in the description below. But I was at Midtown Comics, and if you're in the New York area, totally check them out. They have a lot of cool comics, action figures, collectibles. It was so cool to be in there. And they had Pokemon cards. So when I was getting ready, waiting on my friend Eli to check out, I was looking behind the counter and noticed they had Pokemon cards. And I was looking and I was looking and something caught my eye. And it was the last one. So I was like, you know what? I've never seen it in stores, so I'm going to buy it. And I bought it. What I'm going to be opening up is another Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box. I saw it. It was the only one. And I'm like, I'm still trying to get that shiny Charizard. So I figured, you know what? Why not? And when is the next time I'm ever going to see this in a store? Because... It's been tough. The only the only Elite Trainer boxes I've had so far, I've bought offline. So, I was very excited when I saw this. So, we are going to be opening up this Elite Trainer box, obviously, as I've already started. Um, I know most have seen what's in it, but for those who haven't, every Elite Trainer box comes with a little booklet. It explains how to play the game, and it gives you a checklist. And this is the elusive shiny full art Charizard. Now you get 10 packs in this one because it is a subset instead of the regular eight. So real quick, I will give you that code card right there. Here are the 10 packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We have 10 packs to open up. Let's see if I split this right. Nope. There we go. Five and five, two piles. It also comes with the stained glass Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno tag team GX card, which is absolutely beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, we have pack of energies, dividers with the legendary trio on it. And we have sleeves that are the same way. And then the dice and attacking the uh, counter tokens. So with that being said, and again, I really hope everyone enjoyed the little Q&A with my, even though it was only one question, but myself and Veronica Taylor, still so cool. I could not believe I actually got to see her and I asked her a question. Um... Let's get into these hidden fates and see if we cannot see if we can pull that shiny Charizard. And I saw it and I'm like, I like I saw the pack or I saw the box and I, I was like, dude, I have to buy this. I'm talking to Eli. One, two, three, four. I was like, I can't just let it sit there and not buy it. So I bought it and no matter what, it's worth it. I hope it's really worth it when we pull that shiny Charizard. Um, I definitely have faith that we can. So let's get into it. Grass Energy, Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, Sabrina Suggestion, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Slowbro, Voltorb, and a shiny Ralts. First card. And the rare is a non holographic Golem. So our first pack, and we pulled a shiny. Now, I think I have this one already. I'm not 100% sure. But we're going to sleeve that one up and put that in the shiny vault. You know what? That's what I'm going to call this. Any, Unless somebody else called it that, and I don't realize it. So if somebody else called it that in their videos, let me know, because I don't want to take anybody's, take anybody's stuff. But till then... The bottom is the shiny bolt. All right, we are on to pack number two. There is the code card. One, two, three, four. 
other cards we're trying to get um, any of the gold cards because I haven't pulled any yet uh, the hyper rare legendary trio of Zapdos, Moltres, and Articuno oh my gosh he's right behind me um, a lot like shiny Mewtwo uh, full art shiny Golisopod GX which we don't have so this is a new one and the rare is a oh finally ultra rare Raichu GX I have not pulled this one I have not pulled this one but we got a full art shiny Golisopod GX let me I gotta get the sleeves for the both of them because that was a perfect pack um, so far we're two for two with this elite trainer box all we need now is a shiny Charizard I mean that's, that's a too much to ask really you know and I figured you know what because I'm in New York which I'm not from New York one two three four um, I was like I don't know when the next time I'll be back there, but I was like, I had to get it. I couldn't just let it sit there. It was calling my name. There's a reason why I was in that Midtown Comics store. At least I hope so. Shiny Charizard. Nope, Pikachu. A Reverse Hollow Zapdos, which is a Reverse Rare, which I'll take because I needed that. And the Rare is an Ultra Rare Pincer. Now, I have pulled that one, I think. But... Either way, it's an ultra rare, and I'll take it. We've got hits on every single one so far, whether it be shiny or ultra rare. Um, Full Art Cynthia is another card that we need. Uh, I think that there is a Guzma, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think, I think there is a Guzma. All right, so Psychic Energy, Koga's Trap, Brock's Grit, Misty's Determination, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, oh my gosh, he's right behind me, Charmander, Reverse Jesse and James, I think I need this one too, that is another Reverse Rare, and the Rare is a non-holographic Clefable, alright, so not too shabby, we got two Shinies so far, hopefully we can get some more. I pulled the last Elite Trainer box I opened up. I pulled one, two, three, four. I pulled the Shiny Charmeleon, which is cool because now the only Shiny I need from that evolutionary line is, you guessed it, the Shiny Full Art Charizard. So hopefully we can pull it. Cubone, Reverse Mr. Mime. So I also need that one. Um, every car, every pack that we haven't got a shiny so far, we've pulled a reverse rare, so that's cool. And the rare is a non-holographic Blaine's Last Stand. So, because I'm also trying to collect a master set for this, so anytime you could pull a reverse or a reverse rare, um, it's definitely huge. Two, three, four. Especially with this set when you can get shinies. And when you get the shiny, it doesn't give you a reverse. The reverse re the reverse hollows are actually a little harder to come by. So, I'll take it. If I'm not going to get that, I'd rather get a reverse that I need, obviously. But, it's still cool. Alright, Jigglypuff, reverse Psyduck. And the rare is a non-holographic Weezing. Alright, so we have four packs left. Hopefully, can end on a bang. We just finally pulled the first, my first, Legendary Trios card in the last video, I think. Two, three, four. Uh, we pulled the GX, the Ultra Rare. So I need the Full Art. And then the Hyper Rare. So hopefully we can get one of them. Hopefully we can get something else. I'll take another Shiny. Obviously, it being the Charizard. Reverse Metapod and the rare is a non-holographic Mr. Mime. All right, so we pulled the reverse and now we got the regular, but I've, I'm pretty sure I pulled the regular multiple times. But three packs left. There is the code card. 
One, two, three, four. All right. So we have Metal Energy, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Giovanni's Exile, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Reverse Eevee. I think I have that one. And the rare is a holographic Jesse and James. So our first hollow. All right. Two packs left. We have two ultra rare pulls, two shiny pulls. Can we get something else? We shall see. One, two, three, four. Hopefully something gold. Hopefully something black dragon-esque, shiny Charizard. I know he's not a dragon type, so don't, don't be mad. A shiny Rowlet. We've pulled this one. I definitely know that. So we get a shiny Rowlet, and the rare is a non-holographic Mew. All right, so let me sleeve this one up. We will put that in there. And we are down to our last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? I hope so. There is the final code card. One, two, three, four. All right. So we have Lightning Energy, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Charmeleon, Brock's Grit, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Clefairy, Magikarp, Reverse Kangaskhan, which is another reverse rare. And the rare is a holographic Eevee. So we end on a holo, that's not too bad. But we got three shiny pulls. We got the Rallet, Glycopod, and Ralts. But that'll do it for this video. And like I said, I really hope you enjoyed the little Q&A with Veronica Taylor. Very cool. I was, again, so excited to see her and be able to ask her a question. So that was really cool. Um, that, like I said, that'll do it. I want to thank you all for watching and thank you for being patient. I know I didn't upload this video like I said I was going to on Saturday, but with the connection and everything, I just couldn't upload it. But hopefully this starts off your Monday very well. I will see you all next time. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel, Peps Pokey Reveals, and I will see you all next time. I know I said that twice. Bye.